Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Monday, March 19. You're now getting a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the uh, team here has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 30 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is Flight Director Courtney McMillan. Seen there on the uh, left-hand side of your screen with uh, Christy Bodel serving as Capcom today, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Aboard the orbiting complex, NASA astronaut and commander of the complex, Dan Burbank, flight engineers and cosmonauts Anton Shkoplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers, now midway through their workday, kick off uh, week 15 of Expedition 30. Commander Burbank, Shkoplerov, and Evanation will log 127 days of their planned five and a half months in space as of today, while the Expedition 30 crewmates Pettit, Kononenko, and Kuipers close out today with 90 days in space. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is now flying at an altitude of about 247 statute miles. The orbiting facility is on a northeastern east track heading just toward an uh, orbital sunrise on the, uh, just on the west coast of Washington and will make a pass across Canada just over the top of the United States. The uh, Expedition 30 crew members began their morning with the first of two daily planning conferences a couple hours after the wake up at 1 a.m. Central Time. Planning conferences are held with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review the day's activities, discuss any issues, if any, and uh, plan for the next set of tasks. Today, Station Commander Dan Burbank is conducting an analysis of the onboard potable water supply of the environmental health system and the water recovery system. He will uh, be recording the data from the total organic carbon analyzer that is used to quality test the onboard water supply that ensures its safety for crew consumption. He also will replace a water, a wastewater bag and participate in regular uh, crew medical proficiency training. Meanwhile, flight engineer Don Pettit will spend much of today operating the uh, structure and liftoff and combustion experiment, also known as SLICE, that investigates the nature of flames and microgravity and could lead to improvements in technologies aimed at reducing pollution and improving burning efficiency for a wide variety of industries. And also, Andre Kuipers will work to remove and replace the recycle filter tank assembly of the water recovery system. He also will spend time today working in the Japanese experiment module known as a Kibo with the Cell Biology Experiment Facility, that is an incubator with an artificial gravity generator. Earlier this morning aboard the International Space Station, Commander Burbank completed an hour of his two-hour two daily exercise using the advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. He then conducted sample analysis of the environmental health system in that service module and collected samples from the water recovery system for testing that he will do now within today's update hour. Burbank also took photos of an on-orbit nanorack experiment samples there in Kibo. And uh, flight engineer Pettit, along with his crewmate, Kuipers had done some work to unstow the uh, contingency water container and the recycle filter tank assembly in preparation for that maintenance to the onboard water recovery system. The uh, water recovery system distills urine and condensation and converts it into consumable water for the crew aboard the space station. Pettit also activated the uh, microgravity science glove box for the day's remote experiment operations. He then set up for today's work with the slice experiment that he'll be working on throughout the hour. Also earlier this morning, Kuipers worked in Kibo and operated three experiments that uses the NanoRack smartphone. And at the end of the day, each crew member will have participated in his two, in his uh, daily two-hour exercise to maintain the physical fitness and help mitigate the negative effects of microgravity on their bodies. Cosmonauts Anatoly Ivanishin will perform regular maintenance to the SOJ, that is the Russian life support system, while his cosmonaut and crewmate Anton Shkoplerov will conduct monthly maintenance to the onboard treadmill. The Expedition 30 crew will then participate in its final daily planning conference with the ground controllers around the world before this 
Doing some uh, evening prep work and entering its pre-sleep period, the crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.